Welcome to Well Crafted Studio. I'm here to help you live inspired and create with purpose. So let's get started. Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be painting and doing a pro finish on these leather cuffs. These are the cuffs that we made in the last video where we debossed and cut them out and then added the snaps. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to finish the edges. So the Cricut actually goes ahead and cuts a very straight cut. Most things do when they're making the leather cuffs. And so you have these 90 degree angles that can kind of rub a little bit. And it's just, there's just a few things that you can do to actually make this look a lot more pro. So we're going to go ahead and use this tool, which is an edger tool. We're going to push away from ourselves and we're going to take off this layer or this corner. We're just going to go straight up the edge. Like so, and it just takes a real little bit off. Flip it around. And I'm holding it at kind of a 45 degree angle. I'll flip it over. I don't want to dig into the leather too much because that's going to make it a harder cut and I'm going to be more likely to kind of um, lose control and have it just fly up and get me. Okay, so the next step in this is that I'm going to trim the corners. So I'm going to be using the Tonic Scissors by Tim Holtz. And I'm just going to nip those corners just a little bit. Okay. So this makes it look better, but it also actually helps just the wear of it. So now I'm going to take a damp paper towel. I'm just going to wet that edge just a little bit and I'm going to take my edge slicker and burnish that edge. So I'm applying pressure here and just rubbing it back and forth. If you take a look at like a leather belt, a lot of times the edges are finished like this. I suppose so that it can slide through the loops easier. So what that does is it compresses the leather, but it also gives it that smoother feel to it. And you just keep doing that until you get the smoothness you want. Okay, so that, if you can see the edge, is a lot just, it's rounded and it's just smoother. So I'm going to go ahead and do that underside too. Okay. So that's a lot, I just, that's going to be a lot more comfortable to wear. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start to paint. I'm using multi-surface acrylic craft paints. And when I'm working with small mounts, I'm using the detail brushes and I'm using my caps because there's a little bit of paint in there. And what that does is it gives me like a small little area. I did put, go ahead and put some on my palette because I knew I'd be using a mo lot more of the white. And uh, that just works. So I'm going to give you a couple different ways of finishing these. 
One of these we're going to be painting the background and the flowers. I'm going to be using the acrylics and in one of these I'm going to be using some markers as well. Okay, so when I'm working with a paint, I'm using the flat brush for when I kind of fill in flat areas, and I'm gonna use more detail brushes when I'm trying to do the smaller details. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. These small brushes don't hold a ton of paint, so you don't wanna load up a ton, and sometimes I'll just get a little bit too much. And so what I'll do then is I'll go ahead and just offload over here. A little bit of water helps the brushes, the paint kind of blow off the brushes. So you, you do want to be working with super thick paints. And I'm just filling in these areas that you can see with the debossing. It is gonna cover up some of the debossing lines, but we're gonna sand these back just a little bit when we're done, and that will bring some of that debossing back. This gives you a really nice handmade look.
So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a little bit of my different colors that I know I'm going to want to layer a little and add some highlights and I'm actually putting them on here and then I'm taking a little bit of other colors and mixing it in just a little bit so I get some slightly different tones and then I'm going over the, the petals again and leather is absorbent so the paint wants to kind of soak in a little bit so if you want a strong color then you're going to want to go with the two coats if not a little bit more I'm planning on adding a little bit of the detail with the marker at the end so I'm not trying to get tons and tons of it in here I'm just trying to add some highlights and some low lights so for the yellow I'm going to add a little bit of the purple and that's going to give me a slightly different yellow tone okay so that's some really loose painting and I think I want a little bit of a light blue here add it to the sky so I'll mix a little bit part of this is that you're doing something handmade and you want it to look handmade if it doesn't look handmade then it looks mass-produced so emphasizing the brush strokes um, and then you know the different layers of paint all those things is going to really help all those things are going to help your product look um, more professional more artist done and it's going to help it make it look more unique and all right so pretty simple Okay, now I'm just going to let that dry. Okay, as that dries, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you another technique, and that's going to be using just the, the leather and markers. So these are markers that you can get at any craft store, or I'm going to have links in the video notes. The Jane Davenport Paint Over Pens, the American Crafts Galaxy Markers, those are all good ones. And then this is the Faber-Castell um, Pit Pens. So. What we're going to do is just color in our areas. And I'm just trying to lay the paint in. I'm not trying to like force it um, hard. I'm not pressing because I don't want to lose a lot of that embossing. So I'm just trying to lay it in there. Okay, so we've let these dry just a little bit. Here's the marker one, and here this one actually is the paint. But I just wanted to show you guys, I went ahead and added a few little details with the paint marker over the paint, the acrylic paint. And it's just kind of a fun way to kind of pull out some of those elements, add a little bit of a doodled quality to your work, and um, it also uh, it adds just a, another element of the artistic. And I'm just going to add a little dragonfly to this one. Maybe a little one over here too. Okay. So I just wanted to show you too that this is um, this was a screw up cuff, but I went ahead and just used the markers on it, but I used the marker after I added some stain to it. So we're going to go and add some stain on top of this one. And then we're going to just do this one with a clear seal. So this is the 
stain. It's a leather dye. And I'm going to use a woolen dauber. Just dip that in there. This is a leather working supply. And it's going to lightly go over the cuff. And you can kind of see how it pools. And that's because the paint is acting as a resist. I'm going to get the edges. Then I'm going to go with my cloth. And so what happened is the stain kind of got in the areas where we hadn't painted, made them a little darker, and then it did a little bit of a darkening tint to this that gives it kind of an older distressed look. And then I'm going to go with a piece of sandpaper, and I'm just going to go right over the top, just really lightly. Get those edges a little bit. And then I'm going to go back with a little bit more. This is a lot about layers. So right now we're adding some highlights back in. I'm not going to go over everything because I like this distressed look, but I'm just kind of, it's kind of reinforcing certain areas. Okay, I'll let that dry just a bit. And then I'm going to show you guys how we go ahead and seal this. So, I should cover this up. So, to seal this, I'm using the Super Shine or Super Sheen by EcoFlow. And again, that woolen dauber. And I'm just going to go right across the top. Okay, so this one's dry now. I'm going to go over with a little bit of sandpaper over the top of it. Okay, so that broke down some of the shine a little bit and made it a little bit more worn looking. And so now we're going to go and we're going to go over it with the marker just a bit more.
so I did seal this one and it's um, drying yet but you can see I mean that's just a nice really worn look to it it's got a lot of depth and it's very unique A lot of times it's the finishing details that make it. Okay, so I've given the leather sealer a little bit of time to dry and they're finished. So this is the one that we did the marker on and then the clear finish. And this is the one that we did the painting, the marker, the stain, and the clear finish. So two very different looks for the same project. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And if you found it helpful, please like, comment, or subscribe below. And for more tutorials like this, visit wellcraftedstudio.com.